everybody. I know I'm a little late. I'm supposed to be doing a 24 week update. Um, I'm actually 25 weeks, sorry. I, I also forgot to take my bi-weekly picture. Um, I was talking to my mom about that last night because I was very adamant with Natalie to make sure that, you know, I was taking my bi-weekly pictures with her and her baby book um, is surprisingly really good. And Natalie wants to say hi. Say hi to the camera. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. And I guess with Lucas, yes, I am going to continue hi. doing it the best that I can. Um, but usually, like, the second kid um, doesn't have as many pictures and their baby book's not as elaborate. And I can vouch for that. I was the second and the baby of the family. So, um, you know, comparing it to my sister, like, she has lots more baby pictures and... I mean, it makes sense, you know, you're a busy mom and you do the best that you can to um, document it. So, anyways, um, so I'm 25 weeks. Mimi, Mimi, Mimi. Natalie's new favorite character is? Mimi. Mimi. <laughs> She's very excited about having a baby brother. The ultrasound went great. You guys found out that we're having a boy. And I said that I would take you guys on a nursery tour, which I would love to do in the next video I'll upload. Um, let's just update you guys. <laughs> Sorry, Natalie's being very silly. She's playing with some of Luke's new stuffed animals. Yes, that is his name. His name will be Lucas Michael. And Michael is my husband's name. Um, Lucas will be his first name. And he'll go by Lucas or Luke, either one. So that was one of the main things is me telling you guys the name. And also, um, maybe you guys could comment below if you guys have ever experienced this. Oh, Natalie's other favorite character is Elmo. You like Elmo? It's Elmo. Sorry about all the distraction. Anyways, um... Baby, we can't read right now. We're making a vlog. Mommy. Yes, baby. So let's see. She usually gets mad if I don't read to her, so I'll just flip the pages and hopefully that'll satisfy her. But um, at my 20-week ultrasound, um, although I was in the normal range of 0.4, um, 0.5, I guess, is considered um, in the danger zone or to be a little concern, I guess, um, for... At first, I didn't know what it was, um, and then I did a little bit of research because my doctor didn't really give me details. She said she didn't want to scare me because, um, yeah, because she's going to be checking my uterine, which, you know, researching that, I could see that it was talking about having a low-lying placenta and how it can be very scary and dangerous. Um, she did talk talked to the ultrasound tech and another specialist and they said it was in the normal range but just to give her I guess peace of mind we're gonna go ahead and do the 32 week ultrasound just to make sure um, and in my research I found that a lot of women who had low-lying placenta at that point at 32 weeks they no longer do with the growth of the baby and everything so um, we're just praying that everything is healthy and great and I'm not too concerned um, the doctor wasn't too concerned she's kind of just doing it um, to ease her mind and mine, um, just because it was right there, point one would have made a little bit of concern. So, anyways, um, let's see, what else can I say? I mean, this pregnancy is going awesome. This is more like me talking about Natalie and, I mean, I don't know, but there's not many, like, cravings or nausea or what have you. So I'm really sorry these are kind of boring. Um, I can give an update on Natalie. She is completely weaned now. Kind of sad, kind of good. Um, I'm glad. Like I said, she diminished her wean her um, nursing probably around 15 when I was about 15. I'm sorry, when she was about 15 or 16 months. And that's when I found out when I was pregnant. Yeah. And then we started introducing Mimi. cow's milk and, you know, that Mimi. weaning process was even higher. So, you know, she was nursing four times a day. I think I told you guys I went down to two, just one in the morning and one at night. And one night we decided just um, 
well, usually we do the bedtime routine and my husband passes her off. I think I talked about that so I can nurse her down. Um, so one night we just tried because Natalie kind of laid her head on my husband's shoulder and he was in her rocking chair where I, where I would have been sitting. And I just kind of turned out the light. And the first night it didn't go that great. She cried and I think I gave in and nursed her. But we kept trying it a little bit. And, you know, she would cry for like 60 seconds. I would leave the room, close the door, and then she would just go to sleep for him. So I feel so free. She goes to sleep for daddy now. And she's down to one nap now. I don't know if um, you guys can relate to that. I'm sure some of you can. If you have had a similar napping schedule with, uh, if your ch child has, um, I mean, when she was, you know, newborn sleep all the time, then when she started to develop a little bit of a nap schedule, she had like, I don't remember how many, but four or five 30 minute naps a day. It was crazy. Oh, no. I'm no, maybe she said, we're not napping. We're, we're awake now. It's okay. Can you blow a kiss? She wants my attention. Not too much longer. Um, then, obviously, she went to two naps, two, like, one-hour naps, and now she's down to one two-hour nap, and it's great. I'm so free. I'm not nursing. I can go out and not have to rush home for the second nap. Um, so, Natalie, she is still a thumb sucker. Her, her, um, she's taken after me. That was one of my habits. But anyways, I guess I'll go ahead and show the belly shot. I think I covered pretty much everything I wanted to. Uh, and I'll go ahead and record the nursery video. So I am definitely showing now. If I wear a baggy shirt, I mean, some people can't tell. But it, it again, I am growing. I think I gained about 10 pounds so far. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.